Welcome back, Nana here and then I have now in this video, I have coupled all my file-based data imports into one location actually. So I'm not just going to show it to you, right? I'll not share my screen. <clears throat> Everything has been coupled together, all the file-based data import. So if you go to the website, it is oracle.nana.com slash INVPO. Right? So if you write like this, no, right? we go to oracle.nana.com slash INVPO. It will now come to my main sales page actually. So here, uh, if you go down, you can see the agenda for the inventory, the product data hub, <coughs> the procurement, and then the fire, and the vision order management, and all these things are available here. And then apart from that, what happens again, when you look at the agenda, <coughs> it's uh, really very much compared with anybody in the world, actually, and I'm now covering a great depth, and what's the agenda? And then uh, even though uh, it doesn't cover the full uh, depth of the subject, but it covers all the basics. The basics are fully covered. And then you'll be getting a very strong foundation on these uh, uh, modules, basically, if you buy from me. Uh, and then go there. So I'm selling now. The inventory is now sold at 2,500. And then uh, product data hub at this price. So there are five sales of that. And this sales is a very economical one. And you're getting 21 modules for 9,000, actually. So if you go slightly above, if you click on this link, it will not tell you what all you will get for the 21 modules, actually. <clears throat> so in this place, what happens if you see there are uh, 12 modules or the 13 modules are there for which you will not get the documentation as well as the records also. It is a combination of uh, uh, EBIS as well as Fusion actually. For all these 13, you'll be getting everything. And for these eight, you will not get only uh, records because the, my students are given this and then I don't have any documentation for it. Fine, those things are not available. So you'll not get only records for this. So this is a 21 module pack actually. And then once you make a payment and then you send a screenshot to my WhatsApp number. I will now add you to my past students group so that you can even interact with them. That is the biggest advantage. So my students will now help you out whenever you're getting struck. Actually, either me or my students will help you out in the problem resolution of it. So this sort of a support you won't find with anybody in the world actually. So we give a lot of support. And so your journey to learn Fusion applications or EBIS will be fulfilled actually. <clears throat> the next time doing it. And then I'm also providing uh, instance also as of now, my students are sharing the instances and then I'll be sharing it to you on my Telegram group actually. So we'll be getting that also to practice. I don't know how long it's going to go, but it's going on for the past one year almost. <clears throat> they are helping me out and then I'm now giving instances also to practice actually. <clears throat> so, uh, so this is the one now. So click on it. And then this is a uh, 21 module economical pack actually. You can buy it. And then those who are outside India, you can only pay via PayPal actually. One of them. <clears throat> my since uh, PayPal is charging me 18% GST, so it's slightly high even compared to the Indian price actually. Right? That is uh, through the Indian price is exact. Right? You don't pay any extra money. I will absorb all the taxes basically. Here uh, they deduct it. Right? They deduct it and then so what happens? Uh, uh, 18 percent. Uh, uh, they raise the invoice to me. Right? 18 percent GST invoice is not coming up. So here it is not so. Right? So I am now paying only the income tax and other parts of it. Right? You can go there by. So in this place, if you go to the top and right? watch my file based data report is there. Right? You can even watch this. It tell you about how to how my website is basically organized actually. And then if you click on the watch file based data imports, you click on it. I'll go there. So you'll be having all these imports available here. <clears throat> Finds all available. So if you take a copy of this, one, fine, take a copy of the link and then uh, put it on this place. One. So put it on a browser, <clears throat> take a copy, and then uh, go there and then uh, put it on a browser actually. <clears throat> if you go there, find let me go to this page. <clears throat> So let me open up one more page. You know, fine. I've taken a copy of it. Open up one more page and then uh, now put the URL over there. It will not show you my uh, whatever the shared drive actually. We have item import, stock import, the rapid implementation and the view import. Like, uh, introduction to rapid implementation, the view import. Then the supply report. Supply report is a really very tough one. Fine. So I've done it actually. <clears throat> and then the sales order import and the prices import. And other. So these are the main imports actually fine, on the three SCM modules. Apart from that, how to make the ADO model and then uh, how to manufacture it also. That is all it. And then the min max transfer orders is added. And then afterwards, you'll now find the units of measures is a very tough one. So units of measures one and two are there. And then uh, in the product hub, I have added one uh, thing on the what the import maps actually. And then one on the back to back transfer. There are four activities at that point by make transfer and drop ship. So one of them have been added only. <clears throat> so just watch it and then see about how much of a uh, depth of coverage is there on my training. You'll be able to come in the industry. Fine, that's a good one. So once when you make a buy, I'll be sharing your uh, records on a Google Drive, and then afterwards uh, we will. I will now be on support for you. Fine, I'll be doing it, and then you can always write to me for any clarification. You know, <clears throat> the place where you can do it, and then uh, get it clarified, and then write to me. So even if you are a beginner, fine. We the the module coverage is uh, what happens. Uh, we're taking care of them. So if a person is uh, uh, no ways, so it will be introducing the subject to the full next lecture. But if you jump into procurement, then uh, the basis of inventory is not known. It will be really difficult. 
So you go in an orderly fashion, first learn inventory, then procurement, then order management. <clears throat> so this is an addendum to the inventory activity, <clears throat> the product data. So this way it works actually. And then communicate with me and then uh, what happens? You'll be uh, added to my Telegram group. So you can very well interact with my past participants. They will know clarify your doubts also. Fine, if, if I'm unable to, somebody may even uh, clarify the doubts. So that way is a very uh, healthy group <clears throat> to discuss all the issues. So with this, what happens with that? So in this place, do watch all the file-based data imports in this case. <clears throat> Go there. So I'll not stop my share. So bye for now. I'll meet in some other recording.